Previously in the course, it was mentioned that the IAEA uses simple, effective, commercially available technology to comprise its containment and surveillance mechanisms or measures. This video will serve to provide you with more examples of these measures and the technology used. Several seals are in operational use by the IAEA, including the adhesive seals you see here. These are intended for short-term applications not to exceed 24 hours. The seal is manufactured in slip sheets and uses a pressure-sensitive adhesive, which makes the seal particularly easy to use. Their main advantages include ease of use and low cost. The main applications for adhesive seals are to secure wire wraps and interface closures. They are intended primarily for use on metal and plastic surfaces and are available in two sizes as shown. The IAEA uses about 15,000 of these adhesive seals each year. The wire loop seal, more commonly known as the E-cup seal, is the most widely used seal by the IAEA. As you can see in the pictures provided, the E-cup seal is comprised of three pieces, a metal wire and a two-piece housing unit. Whenever the seal is put in place around a container or at an access point, the metal wire is fed across the access point and then fed into the bottom piece of the housing unit and a knot is tied. Before the top piece of the housing unit is put in place, the inspector will use solder and then scratch a random pattern in the top piece of the housing unit. After the inspector has scratched in this random pattern, a photo is taken and then the two pieces are snapped together. The Cobra seal is currently the only passive fiber optic seal used by the IAEA. The seal consists of a clear one-piece polycarbonate seal body and a loop of multi-strand fiber optic cable. The seal is placed by looping the fiber optic cable through the locking mechanism of the container or site to be sealed and then inserting the cable ends into the seal body. Installation tools are used to secure the seal body to the fiber optic cable. Two clamping pins secure the cable in the seal body and a specially designed cutting blade cuts a random number of strands in the 64 strand fiber optic cable. By means of a light source, the unique seal signature can be made visible and using a camera, the image of the seal signature can be recorded. Subsequently, seal verification can be performed by comparing a new image of the seal signature to the reference image when the seal was initially installed by the inspector. There are two types of electronic seals used by the IAEA. The first is the Variable Coating Sealing System, commonly referred to as VACOS. The VACOS seal consists of a seal body containing the electronic circuitry and battery, a fiber optic cable, and an interface box to provide communication between the seal and the reader. The VACOS seal employs an active fiber optic light source, sending light pulses through the fiber optic cable and monitoring the retrieved signal. The seal is reusable and is mainly used for applications where multiple openings and closings are expected or when the seal is combined with a remote monitoring system. The second type of electronic seal commonly used by the IAEA is the Electronic Optical Sealing System. The Electronic Optical Sealing System was designed for the substitution of VACO seals. Like VACO seals, the Electronic Optical Sealing System is a reusable mechanical locking seal for long-term storage that monitors light pulses through a fiber optic cable. The seal does not prevent opening and closing. Instead, it monitors the fiber optic cable and records any attempt to open, cut, or manipulate the cable. In addition, the Electronic Optical Sealing System seal includes built-in provisions to report any attempt to tamper with the seal body. This could be something as simple as trying to drill a hole in the seal body to gain unauthorized access to the seal data or to switch off essential functions. Any attempt to open the seal's case is stored in the seal's memory. The seal timestamps all open and close events and stores them in an event log, which is also capable of storing other information, including operator activities or state of health information. Here you can see two types of optical surveillance commonly used by the IAEA. The Digital Camera Module 14, referred to as the DCM-14, is a complete autonomous surveillance system for safeguards applications. By combining a CCD camera with the DCM-14, the device will trigger the capture of an image for scene change detection and VACO seals. 
the DCM14 also has built-in authentication and encryption. The All-in-One Surveillance Unit is an intelligent camera system for safeguards surveillance applications. The All-in-One Camera System enables the user to perform a quick setup of the system as required for a specific surveillance application. No additional equipment such as a PC is required. The All-in-One System can capture images at set intervals or using scene change detection. The recorded images are digitally stored on a PCM CIA card. Typically, the safeguards for a facility will require more than one piece of optical surveillance. This is when multi-camera surveillance systems are used by the IAEA. The server digital imaging system is currently used in support of remote monitoring. It is a fully sealable unit intended for placement in any location throughout the world. The system is designed to collect various forms of data, such as from instrumentation, video trigger, or the environment, and it stores this data and allows a user to access this information using the remote access capabilities of the system. The digital multi-channel optical surveillance system has been designed to replace the analog multi-channel system used for safeguards, bringing digital processing capabilities to analog systems currently in use. The digital multi-channel optical surveillance system collects and saves images from up to 32 cameras simultaneously. The images are stored on the server and can be viewed locally at the facility or remotely. Three common types of radiation detectors used by the IAEA for safeguards are the fixed area radiation monitor, the characterization radiation monitor, and the underwater detector. Each of these detectors are used at the strategic points in a facility to monitor the movement of nuclear material within a fixed space. Commonly, the underwater detector will be placed in a channel where fuel is being moved from the spent fuel pond or the fresh fuel pond into the reactor core. The fixed area radiation monitor is used in a specific location to indicate the variations in the radiation being released. The characterization radiation monitor is used in a specific location to indicate what types and amount of radiation are being released at a specific location or area. In recent years, the IAEA has moved to integrate its surveillance systems. The IAEA's next generation surveillance system is a joint development of the German and United States support programs to the IAEA. When the system was being designed, the design goals were to integrate their surveillance camera and the security critical components into one tamper indicating electronically sealed assembly. The agency also wanted a higher reliability of their surveillance system under harsh environmental conditions. The agency also desired support for modern networking over Ethernet and possible coexistence with current surveillance equipment. The IAEA's Next Generation Surveillance System has advanced data security for authentication and encryption, supports high resolution and color images, the system is modular, fully scalable, and allows simpler installation and maintenance and spare part logistics. The system also has a low power consumption.